Thank you all so much for coming to this screening. Um, it's kind of surreal to see this uh, excerpt up on the big screen because Yelan has been working on this film for over five years now um, and it's still in progress. Obviously what you saw was an in progress excerpt, but um, we're just gonna talk a little bit about the relationship between these two wonderful filmmakers here and how this film came to be. So, um, I think in this excerpt you see a little bit of kind of this miraculously serendipitous story of how these two met, um, of Yelen being named after the film and then meeting at this Parisian restaurant. Uh, but I'm wondering, uh, Suleiman, you know, I think that there have been a couple other films made sort of about you or with your collaboration, including the one by Fatou that has screened at this festival. Um, so I'm wondering, you know, after Yelen got in touch with you, after all of those years of not uh, seeing them, why did you agree to make this film with them? Yelen, he has decided to make a film. He asked me, I said, there's no problem. problem. It's like Fatou, when she came to me and said she wants to make a film on me, I don't ask her. Well, everyone makes their choice. And here, I can't... Je n'empêche personne de faire son film, mais néanmoins, quand même, il y a, comment on appelle ça? Non, il y a une certaine, une certaine limite, quoi, dans, 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 pour ma présence dans un film. Et où, je voudrais tout simplement qu'on sache qu'il y a des limites. Voilà. Well, evidently, for me, it's... Anybody who would like to make a film about me, I'm more than happy uh, to participate. I'm open to it. Um, just like when Fatou decided to um, do her film about me, I was open to it and I helped as much as I could. Uh, when Yellen decided to make their film, I you know, helped as much as I could. Um, the only thing for me is um, that you know, I, I believe it's important to be cognizant of the limits um, that you know come as a result of for instance, me being part of the film or me being attached to a um, certain film. Et puis moi, je, vraiment, euh, ça m'est tombé comme ça sur la tête. Hein. J'aurais aimé que sa maman soit là, puisqu'elle est la base de tout ça. And I mean, for me, it was kind of a surprise. It's as if it, it fell on me, uh, it fell on my lap. And um, I would have... I, I would have hoped that uh, his mother uh, was here on, on stage with us. Um, Je pense que c'est elle qui peut nous donner plus d'explications, de, plus de choses, puisque c'est ça. Bon, écoute, hein. il est là, <laughs> il est fabriqué. Bon. <laughs> because, b because I believe that she's at the source of that, and um, she she is their mother, and um, she would probably be able to give us a better explanation as for uh, what, how we came about you know, being in this situation. And of course, like, I mean, she's the one who fabricated them. Do, so, do made you have come to Yelen? I would have liked to hear her mother here. Can we pass a mic, please? With pleasure. Where did Yelen come from? Um, I, I wish maybe she could give us the, the explanation. Merci. Um, thank you. <laughs> to which now we can hear from Yelen's mother. Applaudissez. <laughs> Please applaud. <laughs> bonsoir, bonsoir à tout le monde. Euh, bonsoir, si c'est, euh, je ne souhaite pas partager donc cette scène donc avec euh, Yeye et vous parce que je pense que tout le sujet donc du film de Yeye, c'est de comment se défaire de, de, de sa famille donc de cinéaste et, et donc la pression d'être un enfant, un produit donc de deux cinéastes. Donc je pense que c'est le sujet vif donc de son film. Mais euh, donc pour euh, raconter donc la moi je, 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 je... c'était pour moi tout simplement donc votre film que vous avez fait pour moi qui était donc euh, le plus beau film que j'avais jamais vu de ma vie euh, je me suis dit quand je quand je vais faire un enfant euh, je souhaiterais qu'il soit donc euh, le, le plus bel objet de ma vie et euh, voilà donc euh, c'était pour moi tout à fait normal donc de nommer Hélène d'après donc votre film c'est un hommage à vous c'est un hommage au cinéma et puis c'est un hommage à la à la naissance même euh, d'un enfant donc voilà okay. alors vous vous rendez compte hein sans ce petit mot là je ne sais pas où est-ce qu'on allait well, I mean, if you see, without this, this intervention, I'm not sure where we would have gone. 
but just for a moment, I, I would like to translate what um, Yelin's mother just shared with us. Um, so first, Yelin's mother, um, Getty, um, I, I believe that's, it's like that you pronounce your name, no? Getty? Oui. Um, so Getty just shared with us that um, indeed, she would rather not uh, get too much in details because one of the main subjects of Yelin's film is to depart oneself from um, their family and you know the, the the family legacy or like the the, the family uh, um, um, ways, if that makes sense, so like the family pressure. Um, with Yelin coming um, from a family of filmmakers, um, it was essentially this this film is. Um, has the intention of allowing for Yelin to figure out themselves and figure out how they would like to go about telling the story that they're telling. Um, and uh, she also shared that the reason why uh, Yelin was, was named Yelin is because when she saw the film for the first time, it was the most beautiful thing, um, most beautiful film that she had ever seen. And um, she thought that in the conception of a child, because she believed the child would be the most beautiful thing that was ever to be brought in the world, this child was to also be named Yelin. And so that is how Yelin now is bearing the name of the film Yelin. <laughs> And um, there is also indeed. yes, but there is also there is also mention of the fact that even in the film there is um, a mention of birth and to an extent a celebration of um, birthing a child. Oui? Voilà. Merci. Thank you. And I'm wondering too, you know, I think the a big difference um, between this film and maybe some other documentaries that have been made about you is that this film I think seeks to be made in collaboration with you so not only you as a subject but you as a collaborator and also as this sort of mentor guide godfather figure to Yelen so I'm wondering what has that felt like being a part of this process not only as someone in front of the camera but as someone who is also trying to teach someone how to make a film. And I mean, we see some of that, the excerpts there of you sort of disagreeing over what should be shot and what shouldn't be shot. Um, but how has that been trying to sort of like educate while you're also um, collaborating? Vous savez, je, je, je m'excuse, hein, vous avez vu le film, je crois que c'est deux minutes, non? Non, c'était douze minutes. Ah, douze minutes, bon. Mm. Moi, je, je voulais avoir la chance de le voir aussi. Je ne peux pas, excusez-moi, parce que la question dont elle me pose, moi, je ne peux pas répondre parce que je n'ai pas vu le film. Donc, euh, vraiment, euh, j'aimerais que... Yélien, c'est vrai que... Il m'a demandé qu'il veut faire le film, et moi, je, je suis prêt à aller jusqu'au bout. Hein. C'est son film, il est le réalisateur, c'est lui qui imagine, il peut me demander conseil, mais même là, ça ne va pas loin, puisque je lui dis tout simplement, tu es responsable, tu es le commandant. Hein. Si l'avion tombe, ça tombe. Bon, en plus, c'est caractériel. Chez moi, un projet qui n'est pas abouti, je n'aime pas parler. Ça, c'est mon habitude. Alors, donc, euh, vraiment, c'est délicat pour moi, sincèrement. J'aime bien Yélin, l'effet qu'il m'a fait quand il était gosse, quand on l'a vu à Paris et tout. J'étais très ébloui parce que qu'un homme porte le nom de mon film c'est assez fort et pour cela je ne sais pas quel prix donner à sa mère et à son père mais je, je, je suis heureux de cela et j'espère quand même que il fera quelque chose qui va au delà et c'est ça mon intention que sa curiosité va au delà de ce que moi j'ai fait alors, mais le reste, maintenant, c'est trop théorique. Je ne rentre pas là-dedans. Il est là. Il est l'auteur de son film. Et bien, qu'il nous parle, qu'il nous développe. Et moi, j'apprends avec vous. Mais je ne suis qu'un qu acteur. Normalement, j'aurais dû ne même pas l'être là. Parce que je voulais qu'il soit libre de s'exprimer, de dire ce qu'il pense de son film, ce qu'il veut faire. On n'a pas les mêmes données. Excusez-moi. Hein, mais vraiment, je respecte. Et je continuerai à le respecter. J'espère qu'il ira jusqu'au bout. Parce que pour moi, un projet, quand tu commences, il faut aller jusqu'au bout. Ça, c'est mon souhait. Et là, je ne rentrerai pas dans les débats. Comprenez-moi, hein, ce n'est pas méchant, mais c'est pour l'aider, lui. 
Voilà. Ok, I will try and translate all of that. <laughs> so, um, first of all, I would like to apologize because um, I actually would have loved to see the film. Um, and I believe it's, it's, it's between two minutes, no, okay, 12 minutes. Um, it's a 12 minute film that um, I unfortunately get, didn't get the chance to see, but I, I believe in the fact that um, this is not my film. This is, this is actually Yelin's film. Um, I'm just actually an actor in, in, the, in the film. And I, I wish I could um, elaborate on this. Like at first I didn't see, but it's also in my habits not to talk about um, films that are not finished. That's just how I am. That's just uh, my character as a person. Um, and it's my, my choice not to talk about um, unfinished projects. And I sincerely hope that uh, Yelin will be able to finish this film. Um, then you know uh, they will be able to to bring it to completion. I I would I would like to say that I actually think that I I was not supposed to be on here on the stage. I think that Yellen um, is the person who would have been able to provide with more context as for what this project is about because I wanted Yellen to speak freely about this project. I wanted Yelin to elaborate on the ideas that he, that they shared um, you know, via this, this uh, um, excerpt. And I, 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 I think that from my perspective, it's, it's, it's important to, to center um, Yelin. It's important to center their story and the way they are going about recounting um, our our relationship. I mean, I I, I met I, I met Yellen when they were really um, young, and um, I I mean, to me, it's such a privilege to have someone bearing the name of my um, of my my film. I am I'm very very thankful for that, and I actually uh, it's not out of malice that I'm I'm saying that I would rather not speak about this project, but it's mostly because I want to make sure that it's um, talked about in the way it's supposed to, as in it's, um, Yellen is being centered and Yellen's um, perspective is being centered in all of this. It's not out of malice. I, I, I dearly um, love Yellen and um, I would like to thank um, Yellen's parents for even honoring me, honoring my film in this way. Um, I don't even know what kind of prize I would be able to give them, to be honest, because um, this is this is uh, this is out of what I had imagined. But this this is how I truly feel. I don't want to get in theories. I don't want to talk about um, this project from a theoretical perspective. I want this story to belong to Yelena. J'ai raté quelque chose? Yeah. <laughs> Did I miss something? Okay. That, was, that was really all good. All right. <laughs> okay. That was the gist of it. I, I would just love to respond to all of this. Okay. Is. By um, all means, please. Yeah. Okay. Um, first of all, thank you all for being here. I really appreciate it. Um, it's, it. It is a bit strange showing something that's unfinished, but um, I, I thought this would be a good exercise just to, um, yeah, test it out and also um, show it a part of the film Yelen as well. Et je, je peux reprendre en français aussi. Um, pour le, le 12 minutes là qu'on vient de voir, Bois, toi, tu, tu l'as vu à, à, à Bamako il y a deux mois, je te l'avais montré. Uh, et je me souviens, après, après l'avoir montré, uh, tu as dit Bon, il y a du boulot. <laughs> Allow me to translate. Um, Actually, for the for the twelve minutes film, bois for the bois, which means you know um, grandfather, like it's an endearing um, term in Bamba. Uh, bois, I you actually saw it two months ago in Bamako. You saw it two months ago in Bamako, um, and your reaction was, "Well, there is work to do. <laughs> There's a lot of work to do." Um, but yes, the twelve minutes you've, you've seen it. Um, ce que j'ai aimé, c'est que après l'avoir montré, il y avait. Je je savais pas très bien si tu si tu l'avais reçu, bien reçu ou si tu l'avais aimé. Euh, à un moment, tu disais qu'il y avait quelques il y avait des moments que te, avec lesquels tu avais raisonné et d'autres qui euh, avec lesquels tu ne raisonnais pas. Et euh, je me souviens après quelques jours, tu revenais vers moi et tu disais bon, je pense que 
il y a quelque chose dans, dans, dans ton 12 minutes là qui ne marche pas, etc. Et en fait, j'ai juste aimé cette, cette petite séquence euh, quand tu étais à l'aéroport. Euh, et pour moi, ça sentait vrai. Le reste, euh, ça sentait un peu fabriqué. <rire> Donc, euh, euh, je parlais avec Baba aussi et je lui disais, bon, Baba, t'as vu, c'est bien déjà. Il a... Donc, ça veut dire qu'il a aimé 1% de, de mon 12 minutes. <rire> c'est pas mal quand même. <rire> Alors, oui, je viens de And so, I I remember showing you this film, and um, I wasn't sure if you liked it. Actually, I wasn't sure if you liked it um, because you saw it, and I couldn't read your reaction. And afterwards, maybe a couple days afterwards, you came back to me, and um, you told me, "Okay, there are certain things that work in this film. There are other ones that, that there are other uh, parts of the film that don't work so much or so well." Um, and I do remember thinking that the scene at the airport, um, for me, uh, felt like it was the most authentic, the most uh, genuine um, film, I mean, part of the film. And um, the other parts felt a bit more fabricated. But I remember talking with Baba. Um, and who's his son? Who, Baba, who is his son? Um, I remember to talking with Baba and thinking, well, At least it seems like he likes one percent of my film, so I, I I think it's good. That's that's a good thing. Yes. Um. Um, yeah, I, I think I'm trying to uh, sit with all of this. Um. Well, I don't know if you would mind if I ask you a question. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. About. Yes, Um, yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, I think it's really uh, uh, interesting to hear uh, Suleiman talk about how he wants you to sort of reclaim this film and that this is your story, because I feel like that's something that we have talked a lot about. I don't know if I mentioned I'm sort of a co-writer, creative collaborator on this film in progress. So we've had a lot of conversations about sort of like, okay, what story are we trying to tell here? How do we sort of like bring your story and your narrative to the forefront, um, telling your story and also telling the story of you trying to make this film. Um, and so I'm wondering, you know, given this prompt from Suleiman to sort of speak in your own words, yeah, how would you, maybe if you can talk a bit about what the film Yelen means to you or how it speaks to you outside of obviously it's a big weight being named after it but what it means to you sort of personally and as an artist and then also how that is maybe informing um how you think about this film and like how you are um talking to people about this film how do you describe this film i saw the film i was like maybe seven years old um and it was sort of like the first kind of uh, afrofuturist superhero kind of movie that I had seen or like a movie that had that dealt with magic and and black people um and it kind of straight away sort of um just kind of pen penetrated me in this way where I felt like I was uh a part of this world in some ways um but it's not really until I went to Mali for the first time um that I really understood kind of like the, the importance of the film and also the importance of um, being named after something or someone. In Mali, the, it's so important. Um, uh, je parle de, de la question de uh, l'homonyme au Mali, ce qui est, ce qui est un, un phénomène très important, en fait. Uh, et parce que au Mali, tout le monde porte le nom de quelqu'un. The second part that Yelin just shared with us is the fact that, um, in uh, which was in French, is the fact that in Mali, in the, the culture of Mali, what is um, it, one aspect of the culture that is very important is the tradition of, um, you know, passing a, um, a name. So essentially sharing the name of, you know, of uh, something or someone, like bearing the name of someone who came before you or a thing that, that came before you. It... it Uh, donc c'est une manière d'honorer aussi la personne qui est venue avant et donc pour moi c'était très intéressant d'aller au Mali et de dire quand, quand je disais aux, aux gens que je m'appelais Yélé ils étaient un peu ça les, ça les fait rire parce que j'ai aussi l'impression qu'il n'y a pas beaucoup de gens qui s'appellent Yélé là-bas tout le monde a le nom de soit 
leur grand-mère ou leur grand-père ou, le, ou leur père, etc. Et c'est un peu ça qui marque un peu le... Euh, euh, lineage. Mm -hmm. euh, ouais. um, and so, like I said, so it's when I went to Mali um, that I realized that... Uh, The, the, I, I was into something like essentially I was I was I was bearing the name of a, of, of a specific thing and people had very a very interesting um, reaction to it. Uh, people some people would actually laugh because usually they're used to uh, people bearing their grandfather's name or their grandmother's. But my name Yilin was not um, as uh, notorious as you know as common as uh, um, any other name. But but yeah, there's also this sort of uh, pressure that comes with it, being named the the light, you know, uh, being named after his film, um, and so you know, coming back to this excerpt as well, it's it's like like my mom was saying, it's sort of how am I stepping out of the all of these uh, contexts and shadows, um, and so yeah. And I'm wondering if you could um, maybe share a bit about uh, where you are with this film now, both um, kind of creatively and narratively, but also like more literally in terms of like, yeah, where where are you at with production? Sort of, yeah, how are you how are you moving towards finishing this film um, as Suleiman would love you to do? Surtout ce que je peux faire, je le ferai, inshallah, pour l'aider, pour qu'il puisse concrétiser son, son film. Mm -hmm. Mais c'est une question d'habitude. Je ne sais pas comment euh, le festival lui demande de venir présenter un document qui est... Bon, c est, c est, chacun a ses habitudes. Peut-être c'est un système américain. Mm -hmm. Moi, je suis malien, je ne suis pas habitué à ça. Et moi, mes films, quand je les fais, ils sont vus seulement quand c'est terminé. Mm -hmm. Et je n'en parle même pas. Mm -hmm. Et bon, là, ici, je crois que tout est ouvert, quoi. Mm -hmm. On est dans le ciel, en machine, mais il est le responsable, c'est lui le réalisateur. Mm -hmm. C'est lui seul qui peut donner des machins. Moi, il ne faut pas qu'on me pose des questions là-dessus. Mm -hmm. Je ne suis qu'un acteur. Mm -hmm. Ce qu'il me demande de faire, je le ferai. Mm -hmm. Et si je dois l'aider, je l'aiderai. Mm -hmm. Et je voudrais dire aussi à la dame qu'on ne m'a pas fait des, des films, on m'a fait deux films mm -hmm. et que... Le premier, c'est Iriti Pan, c'est un réalisateur cambodgien mm -hmm. qui s'appelle Cinéas de notre temps. Mm -hmm. Le deuxième, c'est Fatou. Mm -hmm. Et le troisième, ça va être Yélin lui-même. Mm -hmm. Donc, j'espère qu'il pourra porter le, le nom. Mm -hmm. Voilà, merci okay. et bon courage. <laughs> ok. Um, so, I, I want to reiterate again. When I said, when, when uh, Yélin came and said that they wanted to make a movie about me, obviously, a film about me, obviously, I said yes. And I said, anything that I can do to help, I will. Um, anything that I can do to bring this project to completion, I will. Um, one, one thing that I have to reiterate once more is that I don't, it's not in my habit to talk about a project that's not um, finished. And I mean, I don't I don't know, maybe the festival has different ways to go about it. Uh, maybe, um, it, It's, it's something that, you know, happens in, in, in America, like, you know, it's culturally, it's acceptable. Uh, from my perspective, I'm Malian, um, and as a filmmaker, I, I don't usually talk about projects that, um, that I haven't necessarily finished. Um, so forgive me if I can't expand on um, this project. And anyways, I am just an actor in all of this. I'm just an actor. Um, this is Yilin's film, and I would like to uh, let the moderator know actually that I don't have many films that were made um, for me. I have two films. I have two films uh, that were made by um, Rita Kumpan. Eritipan by Eritipan, uh, um, Cambodian um, filmmaker, and um, the second one being um, made, the film that you you saw um, last year, if you saw it, um, by my my daughter Fatou Sisi, and the third one I hope will be um, Yellen's film, and so um, I I personally you know wish him um, all of the, the the best. I wish them the best uh, with this um, this uh, this project. But that's 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 what I can say. Je pense que yeah. 
In terms of... Je pense que j'ai ouais. tout. Ouais. Ouais, okay. ouais. Merci. Um, in terms of where are we at in the process of making the film, um, it's an ongoing process. We have the, the camera, camera here, camera there. Um, it, you know, uh, Suleiman's being honored at Cannes as well. We're going to go and, and film that and, and shadow him. So the film kind of is... Um, You know, there's a documentary portion that is unfolding that is capturing moments like these, and um, there's also a, a more narrative portion, um, and it's really interesting because Suleiman's always pushing me to think about this film as much more of a narrative than a documentary. Yeah, uh, and so um, I think I'm gonna do this one in French. Je pense que, en fait, moi je je je, tu, tu, tu es plus qu'un acteur. Tu, tu, tu es vraiment un, un, un collaborateur dans, dans, cette, dans, dans ce projet parce que tu, tu, me, donnes, tu me donnes beaucoup de conseils, toujours. Um, et je pense que pendant ce séjour à, au Mali, uh, on a eu beaucoup de conversations par rapport au film, on a eu beaucoup d'échanges par rapport à ça, où, où tu me poussais vraiment à aller au-delà de... Uh, du littéraire, aller au-delà de, de juste euh, questions, réponses, euh, au-delà d'une interview. Tu me pousses toujours à, à être présent dans mon environnement, euh, à regarder ce qu'il y a autour, euh, à, à, à être inspiré par la nature. Tu m'as poussé à aller dans la brousse, à aller chercher quelque chose d'autre en, do en dehors de la ville. Euh, tout ça, pour moi, je, je prends ça en tant que... C'est ces moments-là de, de, de mentor où il y a un échange entre toi et moi. Um, donc, uh, c'est extrêmement important pour, pour le processus de ce film. Donc, um, donc oui, j'en suis vraiment reconnaissant. Et uh, je sais que j'ai un, un, une chance incroyable aussi de, de faire ce, ce film uh, avec toi. Mais... Uh, que c'est pas... Euh, je sais que tu es comme ça avec, avec tout le monde aussi qui est, qui, qui est autour de toi, qui veut faire du cinéma. Tu pousses, tu pousses les gens à, à, à vraiment euh, à trouver, à puiser dans leur imaginaire pour, euh, pour faire vivre, euh, faire vivre l'image et faire vivre euh, euh, le cinéma. Mm. Euh, So for me, well, I, I want to reiterate the fact that you are more than an actor um, in, in this film because I received a lot of mentorship um, from you and, and what I mean by mentorship is the exchange that, um, that we get, that I get you know, um, from you and like the conversations that, that come up whenever I, I am looking for, for guidance, uh, whenever I'm looking for, um, you know, for, for ways to reimagine how to tell the story and to, to make the, the story live, to make the film, um, you know, live essentially. A, and and um, when, you told, when, you, when you tell me, for instance, to uh, recenter myself um, in my environment and, you know, make sure, for instance, that I spend some time in um, nature, um, for instance, when you, you suggested that I should go to, to the bush, um, you know, to, to see uh, what was around me for me to really make sure that I captured a sense of what is it that I wanted to say. Like th these moments, uh, uh, these moments of mentorship are moments that make me feel that your contribution is more of the contribution of an actor. And I'm very, very thankful and very um, grateful for those moments. I feel like these moments also shape the story. Okay. Um, so. Thank you all so much for um, being part of this conversation with us, seeing this film, and hopefully we'll be able to bring you the full version very soon. Um, and following this, we will be watching Yelen, the film that brought us all here today. So, and hopefully you were you. able to get more context as for uh, what both um, you know, um, are, have, what special relationship they have with each other, one. And second, you'll get to know more about Yelen, the person in Yelen, the film. All right, have a good night. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you.